1072 by Marion Jones is under threat. There's certainly no help from the wind here tonight in Lausanne. Akinoshun goes in lane one for the USA. Right on best of 1095 at the US Championships where she finished in fourth place. Akinoshun. Christania Williams goes in two for Jamaica, eighth in the 100 in Rio at the age of 21. She will certainly play a part in their relay exploits at least in the years to come. Jenna Prandini goes in lane three, the only athlete who, well, I thought responded correctly to the second gun and uh, pulled up after a few strides. Elaine Thompson, the Olympic champion, goes in lane four in the fourth and right there. 100 and 200 meter champion from Rio, Marie-José Talou of the Ivory Coast. Fourth in the Rio 100 and the 200. The medical student is uh, Talou. Veronica Campbell-Brown there, second from right in that shot in the all-black strip. One of the greatest sprinters in history, three times the Olympic champion, twice in the 200, once in the relay for Jamaica. Kambunji we saw there in seven, and Desiree Henry in lane eight. All right, Great Britain. So... This is where maturity and experience kick in. They've got to put that previous run out of their minds if they can't put it fully out of their legs. Akinnison in one, Christine, Christania Williams in two. Prandini goes in three, alongside the Olympic champion, Lane Thompson in four, that's right of picture. Talu in the orange in five. Uh, Campbell Brown, Kambunji, Henry. <laughs> Good start there from Elaine Thompson. Beginning to ease away now. Good running two from Williams, second to right. But here goes Thompson now pulling well clear. This will be quick. Watch the clock. 10.79. Wow. Three metres to the good. Tore them apart in the second half. Probably got the best start. Great pick up. But at uh, 50 metres, I reckon had a lead of about a metre. Was going away at the line and certainly had that one by about three meters. And you can see why she's the Olympic 200 meter champion as well, can't you? Defeating uh, Daphne Skippers, the world champion at 200 in Rio. 10.78 for Elaine Thompson. Well, she tops the world rankings with 10.70. Does the Jamaican. Fourth equal all time over 100 with that clocking. 10.70 with 10.78 here tonight, Steve. Good enough to take the win from Prandini on 11.11. That's a huge victory margin. Yeah, probably not her, her best start either. It's this part of the race she's so good at. And, you know, when you think back to the Jamaican trials, uh, so-called, I'm saying so-called, you know, the hamstring injury, you know, was it real, was it not? Um, according to her camp, it was, and then there was all this talk about, you know, was she going to be ready for real? Well, goodness me, was she ready? And as shown coming here tonight and running another super fast time here, 10.78, you know, when you look down, you're sitting about the fastest in the world this year, you look down the all-time list, and, you know, it goes down the sort of top 20 or so what we've got, that gets you on the bottom end of that as well, you know. So she is setting new standards at the moment. And you forget, I mean, she's 24. She, she seems a little bit younger, Lynn Thompson, because it's taking a little while for her to mature and everything. But so good, 100 and 200, she looks set to dominate for the foreseeable future. Certainly she keeps producing performances like that. So there it is, 10.78 for Elaine Thompson, the Olympic champion, has picked up very well straight off to Rio. Prandini coming through strongly for that second place, Akinnison in third. Campbell Brown down in sixth.